Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Vaibhav Roy. In this video, we are going to discuss the first topic of the first unit, Introduction to Computer, the Computer Systems. Okay? What is the full form of a computer? Computer can be abbreviated as commonly operated machine, particularly used for technical and educational research. Or it can also be abbreviated as computation oriented machine for processing utility trade education and research okay what is a computer computer is an electronic machine that is capable of manipulating storing retrieving and processing the user entered data it is basically used for computing complex tasks the two major components of a computer are hardware and software in this video, let's discuss about the hardware components of a computer. The hardware components of the computer are the physical devices that include the following five components. They are input, CPU that is central processing unit, primary storage devices, secondary storage devices and output, input or input devices. The devices that are used to insert the data into the computer are called input devices. There are various devices to do the same task. The most commonly used input devices are keyboard and mouse. Other special input devices including trackball, spaceball, joystick, dials, digitizers, data glove, button boxes, image scanners, voice systems and touch panels. Let's see about the primary input device that is keyboard the keyboard is a primary input device that is used to give the input such as numeric and alpha numeric data the keyboard is also used to enter the screen coordinates to select the menus options or graphic functions etc on the screen uh, there are essentially one out one keys on a keyboard. When a key is pressed on a keyboard, the associated ASCII code is transferred to the CPU through its ROM chip, then converted into the signals for displaying the output on the screen. Function keys. They are from F1 to F12. These keys are called function keys. They carry out a specific commands. These keys are used to enter commonly used operations within a single keystroke 12 function keys are available on the keyboard cursor control keys they are also called as arrow keys these keys are used to select the coordinate positions of the displayed object by placing the screen cursor in addition to these keys there are numeric pad which consists of the numeric values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They also consist of arithmetic operator symbols like slash, asterisk, minus, plus, dot, etc. And here are the alphabetical keys on the keyboard. These keys are used to insert the alphabetical data into the computer this was about the keyboard now let's discuss about the mouse a mouse is a small handheld device that was developed at Stanford Research Institution and it is used to position the screen cursor which look like this it has majorly three buttons the left button is the primary button and the middle is a wheel which is also used as a button in certain cases and the right is also a secondary button which is used to uh, select the alternative options or give the alternative inputs this is about the mouse this is the trackball a trackball is a 2d positioning device that is fixed at its base that is fixed at its base and can be rotated with the fingers to generate screen cursor movements. This ball can be rotated to generate screen cursor movements. This is also known as inverted mouse. 
now let's discuss about the 3d space ball or just simply space ball a space ball is a 3d interactive device that provides six degrees of freedom that means it provides up down right left and freedom in z space which is this one freedom here means this space ball provides free movement of the cur screen cursor in three dimensional space that is in all the axis negative x y and z and both in negative and positive directions it is used in 3d positioning in virtual reality systems animations cad that is computer aided design and modeling now let's discuss about the joysticks a joystick is also an input device which is used to give the to the screen cursor movements a joystick is similar to the trackball but it is limited in its movement it consists of a stick or a lever to control the screen cursor movements the joysticks are of two types which is which may be looking like this with a lever and a handheld joystick which is more similar to a trackball this was about the joysticks now let's see what is a data glove data glove is an input device that is used to hold the virtual objects and also determine the motion of the fingers and the hand by using a set of sensors data glove have a certain sensors which determine the movement of the fingers and movement of the hands and give the input to the computer in accordance to these input devices there are other input devices such as touch panels which are used to give the input information with the sensation of touch and other input devices like light pens scanners etc as we are lacking time we need to end this video here we will continue discussing about the hardware components in the next video we are finished with input devices now in the next video we will be studying about the CPU central processing unit